what is up beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you knew my name is zoe aka onka aka Sbabalo, and 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 for those who don't know now you know and for the returning subscribers Thank you guys so so much for coming back and thank you for the patience that you guys have had because the girl has been gone. I have been gone and I'm really sorry. So um this is the look we're gonna be practicing today. We're gonna be good, you know, fandah riba, but we're gonna be beautiful today. So without further ado. Let's tune in to the tutorial. So now I'm going in with this Fashini palette and I'm going in with the purple color. So I've already prepped my lid and I've made sure that my LA Girl concealer has been evenly distributed on my lid. Then I'm going to go in with the purple shade and make sure that I've picked on enough to reach the desired color or desired pigment. And I'm going to repeat the same on the other eye and i won't blend out the color yet because we're going to use another shade to blend out that color so now i'm going in with my beauty treats caribbean carnival palette and I'm going to use the light purple shade, which I'm going to show you right now, to blend out the edges of that first eyeshadow color that we put on. And I'm going to do this to prevent it from looking harsh. Now I'm going to go in with my Avon Loose Pigment in the shade radiating orchard so that i can use it for my crease color but before i do that i first cut my crease using micellar water and a cuter so i first put it on my lower lid and then i look up so that i can see where my crease is and then i clean that up the reason for that is so that i know how my eye looks when it's open and i'm facing someone and then when i'm cleaning up the the crease i can go above my natural crease so that the pigment i'm going to lay down is visible when my eyes open after cleaning my lid i'm going to go in with my la girl concealer and a flat brush so that i can lay down a base for our loose pigment after doing so on both eyes i'm going to go in with my loose pigment and i'm going to pack it onto the lid so i'm using light tapping motions and littlest amount of swiping so that i can make sure that my loose pigment is really really pasted onto the eyelid and that it will increase throughout the day um, now i'm gonna go in with a black color all right this is the palette that i'm using this black going in with the black i'm going to create a wing as a foundation for my eyelashes to lay on and i'm gonna do the same on the other eye Every time I look into your eyes, I see. now i'm going in with my essence hydrating primer and i'm going to use it to hydrate or prime my whole face it's because hydration is key it is really key because if you do not hydrate your face your makeup will have cracks and patches and we do not want that oh no 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 my dear oh no Going in with my LA Pro Prep, I'm going to apply it on my T-zone because that is where I am the most oily. I'm going to use it to cover up my very, very large pores. Very 
large and also to minimize the shine then next i'm going to go in with my la girl pro conceal in the shade toffee and i'm going to go in this exact spots and i won't apply more than the amount that i've applied to prevent from applying an excess amount of concealer and we're using the underpainting method now i'm going in with chestnut to contour and i'm going to mix that with um dark coca oh let me let me put you guys on before i continue let me put you guys on you know if you need makeup brushes but you're on a budget this sounds like an advert but i'm just putting you guys on it's not sponsored mr preezy mr Pre mr preezy has y'all these are um they come out in a pack of five but the other one as i said is in my makeup case but look 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 at the quality look at the quality like this brush is nice and dense this one is nice and fluffy this one is nice and fluffy this one is nice and fluffy like go to a surprise it was like 129 if not 39 so go and get you these brushes and thank you later um i put the the concealers at the back of my um hand and i'm gonna mix both of them and then use this dense brush to apply straight to my face so i'm warming it up on my hand first after warming the color up i'm gonna go above my cheekbones to contour hair on this side is misbehaving hmm? it wants to embarrass me hmm? if you don't know what i mean by right above the cheekbone i mean i'm aligning my contour with the top of my ear and then i'm going into my forehead and my nose to give myself a rhinoplasty basically an illusion of a smaller nose and then i'm gonna go in with my setting spray to dampen up the concealer that i let dry down and i'm gonna blend out the bottom of the concealer first before going in right under the eye and then i'm gonna do that the same on the other eye and i'm gonna blend out the concealer on my forehead as well and then i'm going to blend out the concealer on my nose i'm going in with my sda double way with my foundation i am going over the areas that have no product on them and i'm also using it to blend out harsh lines from the concealer and the contour and i'm also going over my forehead so that i can blend out the concealer as well and then i'm also going to take it and go over my nose to blend out that concealer as well and i'm taking my la girl conce orange concealer to use it as blush and now i'm going in with my yardly translucent powder to set my under eye and then i'm going to use the same yardly to set the rest of my face before i go in with any other powder so that i make sure that all the makeup doesn't go anywhere la girl blush collection is it in the shade orange spice with the la girl blush collection i'm going in with the contour shade in the palette and i'm using that to darken my contour on my cheeks and my nose and a little bit on my forehead so i used the same yardly translucent powder to bake my nose and a little bit under my eyes so going back to the this palette from foshini i'm gonna go in with that pink I'm going in with this Mr. Price brush. With the pink eyeshadow color, I'm going to use it as blush and I'm going to pack it onto my cheeks until I've reached a desired color that I want. First, I'm gonna like go into the rest of my face with this Maybelline Fit Me uh, Poreless Powder in the shade K. 
cappuccino. The reason why I go over the rest of my face with that powder is so that I can make sure that there's no oily spots left and that my face doesn't look too ghost-like. And I'll also use it to blend out my nose big. Now I'm going under my eye with the purple that I used on my lips. So setting spray, remember, Maybelline lasting fix. Now I'm going in with my Essence Lash Princess Mascara before I can go in with my eyelashes. Then I'm going to use the highlight color from the LA Girl blush palette to highlight my cheeks. And from my Revolution palette, I'm going to use the Lux shade for my nose highlight because I find that the gold in that palette suits my nose highlight better than the shade from the LA Girl blush palette. Keeping in mind that I'm only highlighting the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my lips. And then I'm going in with a Q-tip with a brown eyeshadow color because I lost my eyebrow pencil and mix it with a black color. I'm going to go in with this um, Essence lip gloss in the shade 104 Nude Mood. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the post notification bell so that you're notified every time when this pretty girl, when this pretty girl, when this pretty girl, when this pretty girl posts. So stay prayed up and see you in the next video. This community doesn't want to see me prosper. This community doesn't want to see me prosper. I know it's bright, yeah? Intimidating, yeah? This is not a frontal, eh? Get closer. So what you what you're gonna see here on the sides, I myself will not answer for it. I mean, anamangas. Anamangas. Nerd. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I've seen this. It was kind of all along. Now that I want to film, the kids on the street are coming out. These kids. If wigs will do it. Wigs. I didn't think of that problem. But if wigs will do it, then wigs shall be worn.